Welcome everybody. This is the 70s class and here we are today learning Song Sung Blue on page 266. And what do we know about the song? Well, this was 1972 and it was written and recorded by Neil Diamond inspired by classical music. This was actually inspired by the second move movement of Mozart's Piano Concerto number 21. So there's your trivia for the day. It became a number one hit on Billboard Hot 100 for one consecutive week. <laughs> But it stayed in the top 40 for 12 weeks. It was also Neil's second number one hit. His first number one hit was in 1970, and that was Cracklin' Rosie. So that gives you a little bit of, of the chronological chronology of his songs. Um, for Neil, Song Song Blue, or is he said, it's very basic. It's a very basic message. There's not a lot of adornment to it. He said, I didn't even write a bridge. So it is. It's basically the song, and then you play it again, and that's it. So there's no bridge to it. It's just a real simple, simple message, and it's a, just an upbeat, keep it light type of a song. Uh, other people that did it were Andy Williams in 1972, Bobby Darin in 1972, and then in 1980, Frank Sinatra also did it. And I'm sure a whole bunch of other people did too, because it's just a really nice song. So yes, I'm going to make an arrangement for you. I have an intro. Now, it's not the exact intro that was on the recording. I could not find the exact intro that was on the recording. So I took somebody else's arrangement and just copied it down. It works well. It works well as an intro. Um, the other things that we're going to do are make some changes. Basically, we're playing the whole song twice. The ending that's here, I did not like it. So where you have everything at the end on page 267 between the dots, cross them out. Cross out that song, song, blue, song, song, blue, because basically all we're going to do is we're going to go back to the beginning of the song again. We're going to repeat the whole song and then we're going to go back to the beginning and fade it out. I have six presets for you. Again, you don't have to use them all. You can just, again, this is just for you to learn where to push the buttons on your instrument. I'm going to start out very simply. So the first time you play this, for, let's do a road map because that is a little tricky. And, and this road map, and I've done this song a zillion times before the easy way. And it seems like I miss the two coda sign every time. It's just in a really stupid spot. It really is. So if you take your lyrics, song, song, blue, everybody knows one. Song, song, blue, every garden grows one. Me and you are subject to the blues now and then. Keep going to the next page. But when you take the blues and make a song, you sing them out again, sing them out again. Then you have two thin lines at the end of line two and some instructions. So you want to make that a color. Where are you going back to? You're going back to the very beginning. So between the 4-4 four, four and your very first A half note. Now, get a different color. Now we're going to do the second verse. Song sung blue, weeping like a willow. Song sung blue, sleeping on my pillow. Funny thing, but you can. That's the, it, It's just a really dumb spot as far as I'm concerned. That's the two coda. Make sure you mark it. And where's it going to? The coda, line three, on the next page. Now, that's the whole song. We are going to play it again, the whole song. So when you get to the bottom line, first measure, you actually want to write in your repeat dots facing backwards. So you want two dots a thin line, and then your thick line. Because remember, we're crossing out the last couple of measures, the last four measures. So at the bottom line, first measure, at the end of the measure where, those, where the rest is, you want to do repeat. You're going to repeat the whole song, which means we're going to play this twice again. Okay? So if you want to color it in, go ahead. But basically, you're just doing the whole thing again. There's an instrumental 
and then he goes back into the singing. So here's the way it's going to go. The first time you play this. John. Yes. Go ahead. So do we the repeat dots that you put the repeat dots that you put on the bottom line mm -hmm. first measure? Yeah. Just go to the beginning. You go okay. to the beginning, you're going to play the whole okay. spiegel again, the whole thing. So basically, you're going to be playing four okay. verses, four verses here. There's only two sets of lyrics, but you're going to be doing four verses. So I actually wrote in, because this is so confusing for me. I don't know why. I always stumble on this. Um, so I wrote in um, the first time. I'm just going to use a very simple, simple, simple background. The second time... I am adding some ooze, so I wrote up here. One time, use this one. Second time, ooh, I just add, I'm going to add some ooze, and you'll hear it when I play it. Third time, I'm going to go to the lower keyboard, and I'm going to do an instrumental. I'm going to put in a trumpet bell solo. And the fourth time, I'm going to add some echoes and a lot of high strings. Now, I wrote those notes well, just by listening, just by listening to Neil singing the song. Now, what kind of an echo am I talking about? That one was kind of hard because this, the last time he sings it, he's got a chorus behind him, and he goes, song, and then the chorus goes, song, and then he does, sung, and they do, sung, and then he does blues, and they sing blues. So it's song, song, sung, sung, blues. Okay? And you'll hear it if you listen to him do it. Now, how can I actually play that and make it work? I either have to do, you know, one of these things. I, you're not seeing the keyboard that well here. Huh, I thought I had that all set. I'd either have to do one of these things. And yeah, you could do that, but you got to be playing chords at the same time. So what I'm actually doing is I am going to put in a, let's see, let's go all the way to my last preset here. I'm putting in a pretty distinctive guitar. Can you hear it? There's a guitar sound in my lower genius or my lower tab sound. So that is going to be my my echo. So when I, I'm just going to play that note or that chord every time I do the song sung. So I'm going to do song, song, sung, sung, blue, but I'm just going to work on the chord. But because I'm putting a guitar in that lower tab, it's kind of clunky. So it's going to do the clunk, song, song, sung, sung, blue, and that's the fourth time you play it. So you want to listen for that echo. So what are you listening for? The first time it's going to be very simple. The second time I'm adding ooze, and that's subtle because I'm just going to be adding a vocal ensemble tab but they're gonna be there. And there's a little playing technique to hold the ooze because they're just kind of doing ooh, they're just ooing all the way through Neil singing. The third time, lower keyboard because that's your instrumental, it's the trumpet bell solo, and the fourth time is the echoes. So those are the four distinctive things that you need to be listening for. Okay, I did not get that set very well, did I? That's all right, you don't need to see my head. <laughs> So what is your background? My background is actually basic country at 117. Now, a lot of you have this in song setup. I did not yep. like it. Oh, I did oh. not like what it was in song setup. Now, if you did, that's fine. You just hit song, song, blue, and song setup and play. Okay. Okay? So if that's what you like. Yeah. But I'm changing it all around. Why? Because I can. <laughs> Keeping it very simple.
Very nice. Very nice. Subtle changes, yeah. but they work. But they work. And some of it is playing technique. Did you hear the echoes? Yes. You hear the echoes in that last time? Yes. That just came by playing that your chord using a clunky sound. Just using a clunky sound like that guitar. So you're going to put that guitar in there and you'll hear that. You'll, you won't hear the guitar doing the echoes, but you'll actually hear that guitar um, in the song. I actually put it in earlier than that. So you'll, you'll hear it. And so that's where you add that would be to your lower tabs. Okay, now I also added some extra notes. Did you hear them? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Top of page, top of page 267 was the first place. Those ones. Yeah. So you want to write those in. Top of page 267, first measure. And it's basically quarter notes. One, two, three, four. So your notes are B flat on the third line, beat two is an A, second space, beat three is a G, second line, and beat four is an F, the first space. So you're just coming down the line. Now you're going to hold the D. You're going to hold the D. So your fingering is going to go all out the window. Honest, truly. Oop, let's get that set back up. And the C, you're actually skipping that first C and starting. Your, it's the word but. You don't need that word. So we're going to start the melody on when you take the blues. So you're going to take that, that C quarter note and just cross them out and throw them away. So you're going to just hold the D and play B flat, A, G, F. <coughs> and then go down to the C. So that was B flat? Because I thought you said E flat. Nope, B flat on the middle okay. line. B is okay. in butterfly. Butterfly flat, alligator, gorilla, F, right down the line. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, now let's go to line two of that page. Right before you get to those two thin lines, you're going to put some lead in notes at the end. And it's basically beat two, beat three, and beat four. And it's going to be a C chicken on the first line below the staff, D dinosaur on the first space below the staff, and E elephant on the first line. And that is the last measure of line two, right before you go back to the beginning of the song. Let's go to the third line. Now you're in the coda. Last measure of the third line. We're going to repeat those same four notes that we did at the top of the page and put them in that last measure, one per beat. Beat one is a B flat, butterfly flat, third line. Beat two is an A alligator, second space. Beat three is a G gorilla, second line. Beat, one, beat four, um, Eric just came in, scared me to death. <laughs> uh, beat four is an F on the first space. So again, it's B flat, A, G, F. Okay. And you do that while you're holding that D. And so, yeah, your fingering's going to go. The fingering I give you is going to go all out the window. Now, let's go down to the last line. That first measure, where we put the repeat dots, where you've got all the rests, you're going to do your lead-in notes again. C, D, and E. Beat two is a C, first line below the staff. Beat three is a D dinosaur, first space below the staff. And beat four is an E elephant, 
first line. And those are the lead-in notes that take you back to the beginning. Okay, now let's talk about where which Excuse presets me? go where. Any questions first? Yes, where was that? That is the last line of the song, that very first measure, where we where I told you to put the repeat dots to go back yes. to the beginning of the song. Just put those lead-in notes. And then go back to the beginning. C D E. C D E, yes, ma'am. Now I did also use those as lead-ins. Um, on the first page, but only the fourth time, and they're totally optional, so I didn't even write them in. Mm -hmm. So if you feel like doing it, a C, D, and E again. But if you don't feel like doing it, they're optional. And if you write in too much stuff, all of a sudden you go, ooh, ow, I don't know what's going on. So I actually wrote in second time oohs, and what I was doing for the oohs is I did have on a vocal ensemble, and I'm holding the notes. So the second time you play this, oops, let's, let's see, it is going to be the third preset. Hear that vocal? You're gonna hold the notes. Hold that note. that hold it so those oohs ring out so it's a different you just you're just thinking like the instruments that you're playing if you just play the notes that are there it'll be fine but you're not going to hear that basically they're just going ooh behind Mr. Diamond. Hold the top one. Play it again if you have to, but hold them. And then you want to hold the bottom one too, so you've got it. So you hear those oohs. And it's such a simple song. But sometimes these little things, and yeah, I had to listen to him do it a couple of times before I really could figure out, how am I going to get this done? The third time, you're going to put an L. And, and uh, just so you know, third time, the trumpet bell solo. Whoops. And we're gonna, well, that's all in here. How do you get those sounds? You know what, let's talk about that one right now because I'm going to actually have you going, and we did this in the morning class, so girls that were there in the morning, this is going to make a little more sense to you now too. When you get that trumpet down there, and you can put it, you can wait until, whoops, somebody else coming in yet. You can wait until you get to that preset, or you can just do it right away because I'm using that basic country, You're going to press rhythm preset one, or actually it's rhythm preset zero, which is a country guitar, and I believe it might be, if you're doing category presets, it would be category country number two, I think is your country guitar. But the problem is what you're getting on the bottom is a harmonica. And that harmonica has an effect on it. So even if I change the sound to a trumpet, which is actually real easy on this one because I've got trumpet and bells right on deck. For those of you that have sounds and you need to find numbers, just, just go to trumpet. You're going to put in the blue solo genius sound one trumpet and sound two bells and you're just going to send them here it's easy because i just hit trumpet and bells and just make sure they're both going to lower right there's a problem now there's still an effect on that so it sounds like that harmonica so how do i get that off of there go to your feature clear this is an advanced feature go to your feature clear and scroll until you get to a window that says 
effects, not lower sound effects, but just effects, E-F-F-E-C-T-S, because that's what's causing that wah, wah, wah to go on. When you touch it, you're going to come up with um, orchestra two is on, solo is on. Well, solo is where I actually have those sounds going to the lower keyboard, so it's going to be solo off. Just touch it, and it'll turn it off. Now, now it sounds like trumpet and bells. If I turn it back on, there's the wah-wah, because it's got a phaser on it. So you just turn it off. And that's just good to know for anybody that's trying to change a sound, and for some reason it's still sounding yucky, or it just doesn't sound right, go to your FX and see if something is on and make sure you just turn it off to get that pure instrument. If that's the only thing you learned today, you did good. <laughs> okay, let's talk about where the changes actually are. Your introduction is going to be A1. And basically, I'm just using basic country and using your category show where you're finding a 70s piano. It's an electric piano. You could use a guitar for it. It doesn't matter. And my drummer is off. I'm not using any drummer. It's just the bass and the genie. And then you just play your intro. play the intro again an octave higher. That is your A1. A2 is at the beginning of the song. And A2 is when you go to your rhythm preset zero or to one of your cat country categories to find that country guitar or whatever other guitar you like. You can use a different guitar. Again, I'm keeping it very simple. No orchestra plus. I do have my drummer going on. So I'm just keeping it very simple with just that guitar. And I'm playing the whole page one and page two, the first two lines. So that whole first verse is with C or with A two. At the end of line two, where you have the two thin lines that tell you to go back, you're going to have two numbers, A3 and A6. A3 and A6. Let's just put A3 there for now. Okay, now A3, we're going to go back to the beginning, and you're going to play A3 all the way up until, this is where it gets tricky too, line three right, bef right between the second and third measure. You're going to put A4. You're also going to put A5U. So A4 and A5U, which means you're going to go to an upper keyboard, and you'll figure that out in a minute. OK, so we're going to do A4, play. Um, funny thing, but you can sing it with a cry in your voice. We're now in the coda. And when you get to that one little lone measure on the last line, you're going to put C, I'm sorry, A5, I've got everything in the C band because it's Wednesday, A5L, so that you already know the minute you go back, you're going to go to your next preset, but L to remind you, you're playing on that lower keyboard to get that trumpet solo. When you get back to the and play your trumpet solo, third line, the same place that you did before, A5, U. Now you're not going to go to a new preset. You're just going to go to that upper keyboard. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to play, because we're on the second time we're playing the song. You're going to play the top of page 267, the second line, and that's where you have A6. A6 sends you back to the beginning. You're going to play A6, 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 go to the coda, A6. Now you're basically on A6 forever. Mm -hmm.
when you get to the end of, again, that little measure, now you're just going to go back to the beginning of the song on A6 and play until you're ready to fade it out. Now, if you'd rather fade it out in that last, the last four measures that are there, do that. That works too. I just like having the everybody knows one. I just like putting that in there. And that's not here. It's not at the end. And I like it. Mm -hmm. Now, again, for those of you that don't want to go through all the rigmaroles of this, go to song setup <laughs> and play. <laughs> okay. That's just a really, really nice song. <coughs> okay, do you need to hear any part of it again, or should I just play the whole thing? Oh, play it. Play the whole thing again? Play the whole thing. This is just a fun, it's a fun song. Follow along, follow along and listen for the simplicity the first time, the ooze the second time, the lower keyboard um, instrumental the third time, and the echoes the fourth time. So here we go. The hardest part is trying to remember which time you're on because there is no bridge. I know. So, yeah, that's the hard part is knowing, whoops, do I go to Coda this time? Am I on the first time, the second time, the third time? So yeah, I had to, that's why I wrote out each one, each one. The first time you're doing this, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, so that I can remember where I'm going. That's the hardest part is keeping it straight. 
<laughs> the Dawn? song itself is so easy. Yeah. On the, on the second line, um, where you have a, a whole note C, uh -huh. did you put in, you put in, did you put in C, D, E and yes. go to the G? I put okay. in C, D, E the, the last time, the, the fourth yeah. time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I didn't write it in only because it, there's just too much stuff being written in there. But if you hear it, play it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Dawn? Yeah. I was late. Can you tell me what the notes are that you added? Yes. I know top you added at the end of the first page. C, top, B, flat, A, at, and G, right? Yeah. The top of the first page, uh, or the top of the second page, first measure, one per beat. So it's going to be one quarter note. B flat, butterfly flat on the third line. Alligator, A on the second space. G gorilla on the second line and F fish on the first space. So it's B flat A G F and you're holding that D. You're just playing those notes with any finger you got free. Because you're okay, holding the D and then you're playing B flat A G F. You're doing that again at the end of um, line three, the coda, the third measure, so you're in the third line of the page, B flat A G F. You're holding the D, same I thing. I that off of here because I had written my name on thought, no, that's not good. I've got to go. Okay. Um, so now i got to get the picture up. Okay. And then I did some lead-in notes at on the second page, second <laughs> line. You were confused. Last measure, C, uh -huh. D, E. C, D, E? C, D, E, yep. So if I play, I'm going to play the last page here. Lead in. Back to the beginning. Okay. Those Great. are just lead okay. notes. C, D, E. The bass is actually doing that, but there's no way for us to get that bass to do it unless somebody out there, um, John Simkovich, is playing bass pedals. You could actually put those in with your bait with your feet if you want. But seeing as how I don't play bass pedals, don't care to. I think the bass player is fine the way he is. I just add them with the guitars that I'm playing here. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Did I make it too hard? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was much easier, simple. It's a simple song. All you need to do, if you pick one of these things, if you decide, you know what, I kind of like the ooze the second time. That's all I'm going to do. Do that. All you're doing is adding a vocal ensemble and holding the notes a little bit longer so that your ooze. No chord changes. Correct. There are no chord changes. It's that simple. What am I supposed to teach you if I don't can't give you chord changes? <laughs> yeah. There aren't any. This was a very simple song, and it's just a very cool song. So I had to think of something else to make it a little harder. <laughs> so I hope you I hope you enjoy. Uh, if you learn one thing, if you learned how to do the bump, 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 bumps, you did good. So all you need to do is pick up one trick every time you, you are with somebody in somebody's class and you're 100% successful. You don't have to learn everything. Or yeah, I just, did. Okay, that's, good. That's, that was my one thing for today that I learned. Okay. Very good. I'm going to put fingering for you yet. Um, next week. Next week. Where are we? Oh, Stairway to Heaven. Wow. Okay. All right. That should be fun. I've never taught this one before, so this one should be, this one should be fun too. Okay. <laughs> All right. For those of you who don't need fingering, thank you so much for coming. I cannot do this without you. It's wonderful to have you in class um, and keep supporting the 70s songs because they're fun. Um, for the rest of you, get out your pencils. Let's put in some fingering. And now remember. Okay, thank you, Don. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Remember, this fingering does not work if you're going to be doing the extra bump, bump, bumps. 
then you're kind of on your own. You just have to place your fingers wherever you can, whichever finger gets there first. This fingering works for if you're just playing the song as written. A3, F1, C5, B flat 4, A3, G2, F1, G2, C5. Next line, G2, low C1, high C5. B flat 4, A3, G2, A3. Third line, F1, C5. Check mark if you wish. E flat, 4, A1. Last line on that page, F5. A1, E flat 4, A1, F5, low F1. The D can either be a 3, a 4, or a 5, whichever finger gets there first to play all those Ds. You can actually put your 5 finger on it, and that way you've got the other fingers free to play the B flat, A, G, and F, whichever finger gets there first. So yeah, why don't you go ahead and put a five. I'm gonna mark that too. Just put a five on those Ds. That'll work. Top of the second page, low C. Uh, remember, we're crossing that first C out and throwing it away. So the, over the word when, it's a one, C1, C1, E2, E2, G3, G3, B flat four, B flat four, High C5, low C1, high C5, B flat 4. Second line, B flat 4, A3, 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 G2, G2, and then if you're doing the bum, bum, bums, it's 1, 2, 3, or whatever fingers you like. Let's go to the coda, F5, E flat 4. D3, E flat 4, D3, 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 D3. Now you're going to have to switch it to a 5 if you want to do the B flat, A, G, and F. So while, if you're playing it with a 3, just put a 5 on it. I mean, I'm, I, I promise I won't look. I do it. Next line, C1, C1, E2, G3, 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 B flat 4, B flat 4, B flat 4, B flat 4. C5, low C1, high C5, B flat 4, B flat 4, A2, A2. And that's it. If you feel like playing the last four measures, which I actually crossed out, you can do A3, F1, C5, G2, low C1, high C5. And just fade out with that if you want. Questions? No? Okay. You guys are the bestest. <laughs> I see seven chats. I want to see. What was the speed that you were playing it at? Um, 117, because that's what the song setup actually, actually um, set it up for. Even though I didn't use the song setup, but I did keep the tempo. That worked for everybody. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no chord changes. Yeah. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Have a fabulous day. Stay dry if you're in Florida. It's lots of rain going on right now, but that's okay. We need it. Mm -hmm. And um, the rest of you, Fred, hopefully the weather up there is getting nice and warm. <laughs> and all locations of the universe, have a great day. <laughs> you guys are awesome. You too, Don. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.